Hello, welcome back. Susil this side and this is continuation of Azure Databricks tutorial. So today we are going to see how we can create the parameters by using the SQL code. So in the last video of this video series, we have seen how we can use the widget utility for creating the parameters. So where we have used the Python code, but by using the SQL, we can also create parameters. So I would strongly recommend to watch previous video before going forward. Let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to implement that in practical. So here the notebook we have already created and default language that we have to select as SQL because we are going to create the parameters by using SQL code. Now here inside the command, it's very straightforward. Let me paste the command then I will explain. So this is very straightforward like we can use the create widget then the type of the parameter that is the drop down then the name of the parameter so that is the country drop down and then we can see the default so we can supply the default value and then we can see the choices so inside the choices we are going to do the union based on these four countries and we are keeping that in a single column and after that we are selecting that column so this is very straightforward SQL code by which we are combining all those four values and selecting by using this outer query. So we can execute and we will see it should be going to create this parameter and we can go and we can see all these four options are available here. Now next if we want to create any parameter of the type of the combo box then here we can use the combo box and then we can rename this as country CB let me try to execute it we should be able to see two parameters and this is a combo box that we can see and this is the drop down now the third type of the parameter that is multi select so like we can use the same code and instead of combo box we can use the multi select so simply we can select and here the name that would be country multi select let me try to execute it so it will be going to create one more input parameter that we can see and this is working as multi select so like these three type of the parameters we have selected and there is no any difference except the type of the parameter and the name so only these two things we have to update on this query to implement the parameter but in case of the text parameter remember in the last video we have seen there should not be any choices because inside the text box we cannot create any type of the choices so we can remove these choices here and default value I'm going to call as India and the name that should be txt and the type so that is the text type let me try to execute it so we are able to see we are having these values now the actual requirement will be coming because here we can see we are passing the static value of these parameter so this should not be the static value it should be coming from the table so the table that is the country master table that we can see and inside the country master table we are having all the values of the locations so we should be able to see the locations inside the drop down or the combo box or inside the multi select for the choices so how we can do that so first we have to make the connection so I have already recorded one video how we can connect with the SQL server I'm going to use the query here and if you want how we can connect then you can watch that video that is on the part number 11 now let me try to copy this and let me use it here let me execute it so this query should be going to execute and we are having this df so this data frame will be having the pw location table and also verify so we can use the display command of this data frame okay because this cell is referring to SQL so we can use the magic command so simply after percentage we can write on which language we want to execute so here we want to execute in Python 
so we have to convert and we should be able to see so it is having all these locations under this now next what we have to do data frame is having all these values so we have to create the temp view so that temp view we can access inside the SQL select statement directly data frame cannot be accessed there because it is going to use inside the Python code you can use the data frame dot and after that it should be having create or replace temp view and here we can specify the name so I'm going to call this as country and this should be going to execute in the Python so again I'm going to use the magic command as in Python and let me try to execute it so it should be going to create this temp view now remain everything will be same what we need to do let me try to remove all these input parameter first so remember in the last video we have seen we can use the DB utils dot with get dot remove all let me try to execute this so all your parameters has been gone now what we need to do we need to access that temp view that we have created here and we should be able to see all those choices so instead of getting this from this static value we should be going to see from this country which is a temp view let me try to execute it so it is reflecting an error because remember your column name is the PW location so you have to use the PW location here now let me try to execute it so here as we can see the drop down is having the Iceland and other all the values we can see in this drop down so the same thing we can also implement inside the other parameters so for the multi select we can simply go and try to use the PW location as the column and the country as the temp view we can execute and we should be able to see one more input parameter along with all the choices that is available in the table so this is the way and in the real time you should be able to see this way only so we are having one of the lookup tables, something like that so we are accessing all those countries from that lookup table and that option should be appearing in the parameter of the notebook so that's it for this video see you in the next video